various reasons our garage doesn't look so good. Cleaning will help, of course, but one thing I'd like to do is maybe move the bikes over from here to maybe like a vertical position over here somewhere. So I'll be working on that in this video. Who knows, I may even have to deconstruct my Strawn Beast. So I've seen the bottom plate black, uh, more or less, and then the uh, the uprights. I'm thinking I'm, I'll just leave these kind of a natural, maybe put some urethane on them. So it's time to install this eight foot beam on, on the wall. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a hole here, put a screw in, just have that hold it up on one side while I drill it in on, on the other over there. I think I may have missed the stud, but that hopefully that'll be okay. This uh, three quarter inch piece of PVC, it'll go through a hole here, lock the wheels down and uh, yeah, it'll stand it up nicely. I've been told not to use this for like shop stuff, but you know, it's right here, so why not? Sort of past, I suppose. It'll lock it down and then you can take it out. What we need to do is actually put a spacer between it. Yeah, and it will also provide a nice point where we can lock this down to the stud on the wall. Go right against the stud here. Plug it down there. So it looks successful so far. Only thing to do is reproduce this and then put the top on. You know, basically it's just kind of what I did, but I've just got to do it over and over. Have measured the, uh, the height from the floor to the central axis of the bike. So I do have those laid out. So the next few, I'll have different holes for different different sizes. Well, I'm making some progress, but this has been a lot of work. So I've got the, the five uprights here, there, there, and there. Now it's time to put some storage on the top and then some on the, the uh, middle spars and stuff. I've got the top, it's a two, two by 12, a little heavy to be honest. So the idea is that I'll slot this in the urn again, slide it in. One cut isn't enough, so I'll do probably one or two more, expand that a little bit. All right, got a bit wider hole here. I'll have these LEDs buried kind of uh, recessed in here, and then I'll have the controller there. Should be a really easy way to get some extra lighting on it, make it kind of a cool effect. Now, however, I just have to actually put it up on the wall, which will be a bit of a challenge. So based on this little experiment, I guess you can just drill it in at an angle and it does all right. So I'll probably try this one first and the other ones I'll just kind of drill in. Screw one is in, now I'll do the rest. It should be locked down pretty well. I've got the top mostly secured, now it's time to lock down the lights. As it just so happens, I, uh, yeah, I put that there where it's actually a little bit interfered with, but should, should be okay. So my error here, having this lined up under the vertical was bad, but then of course the spacing isn't quite right. It's not quite level on the tops of this. So kind of like Einstein's two errors that led him to discover something. I don't remember the whole story. This seems to be working out all right, just on a much less grandiose level. Oh, that looks super cool. Very nice. What I'm gonna do is put some Vaseline on this, use this hot glue, basically squirt it in there and hopefully it'll come off the Vaseline surface. You know, if I'd done this from the, when it was on the ground, it would've been easier, but hindsight's 2020, as they say. Kind of look cool the glue or the uh, Vaseline is holding it up there. Hopefully it's the Vaseline. So after much work, I've got a uh, rack on top of there. All the vertical racks, horizontal rack, everything's, you know, pretty, pretty good. Looks good. Only thing is, 
my garage is still a bit dirty so hopefully hopefully it looks a little bit improved before as before there's some open space but i'm thinking i probably need another row up there so i'm gonna make another black piece and stick it up there and yeah should be even better because i made these spacers 3d printed them so that's pretty neat With that somewhat done, I went ahead and mounted these with a uh, more traditional hooks that I bought from Amazon. Worked out pretty well. Still need to make some shelves for, you know, intermediate shelves for these. So right now it's just uh, hanging on. I'm gonna secure it with hot glue. What I'm gonna do is actually jack up the front with uh, this laser scrap. I think it's like a 16th of an inch. And so that'll hold it on. It's still at a bit of an angle. So if I want to put balls or something on there, it'll roll back just a tiny bit. A bit of work with a rasp. There we go. So the final piece of the puzzle here, or final piece for now, I guess, is that I'm gonna have a holder for these two little scooters. I've cut up this two by 12, I believe. I'm gonna mount it this way on this bottom piece. I've actually got two 3D printed pieces at a 10 degree angle. So hopefully balls will roll down or whatever else. Also made these holes in the middle. So it's, it's kind of big enough that hopefully I can just sort of estimate, sort of measure, and then drill into that. And hopefully that'll make sense in just a second. Overall though, I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out. I mean, a lot of stuff stored on the walls and look at that, my floor is actually fairly clean. I'm pretty happy with how that segment turned out. Sitting up nicely and room for one more just, just in case. And of course, this should, there you go. So back there and yeah, some, some ball storage too. So that's, that's good. I'm uh, quite happy with how this turned out. Got some storage for, let's see, one, two, three, four, five bikes. Five bikes, got some hockey sticks, you know, because I live in Florida, we need the hockey sticks here, of course. Some cones, balls, uh, tennis rackets, paddle ball rackets. These scooters, which are, you know, a bit, a bit hard to store, and I'm glad I've got that sitting up nicely now. 
Also put this up on top, actually just bought that from Lowe's. Yeah, so everything's uh, everything's good. My garage looks a lot cleaner and even though this was quite a bit of work, quite happy with how it turned out. Strand bees still survive and I even cleaned up my, uh, my work area. So yeah, seems like I'm starting off my 2024 pretty well cleanliness wise and we'll see how that continues. So anyway, thanks for watching, so much for watching. This is Jeremy Cook signing off. As clean as this looks, there is one thing that could be here. That is my car. All right, so somehow I got the car in, had to back it in to get out, and let's see if the garage door will close. Wow, uh, look at that. Well, technically got it, I get it in there, backed it in. I had to put the mirror in a little bit. Not an inch to spare, in fact, I think even in the back, I heard it hit something. So technically I can get my car in here and get out. But yeah, I wouldn't want to do that every day. <laughs> really happy with this little motion sensor thing I hooked up with the LEDs. Pretty cool. Also have the, the Dyson thing. I've, I've had this for a while, but I, I redid it a little bit so I could center mount it on a stud. Move that over to the right or left, depending on how you see it. Yeah, you know, just a whole like, uh, you know, garage renovation. Even put some stuff in the attic. I'm not going to really show that off though. Fishing poles, so that's cool. Got my shin soup. This stuff's great. I'd be happy if they sponsored this channel because I eat it all the time. Some albacore, you know, some nice protein after a good workout. Yeah, maybe some chips too. So, you know, whole meal of food here. Look at this floor surface, it's so nice. I had this put in when I was uh, just moving in. I'm very happy with it. So I would recommend that.